Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how to make an LED chaser or sequential LED blinker. I am using 10 LEDs here. As you can see the circuit looks a bit complicated but it is fairly simple. So let's see what we need. So we need an Arduino Uno because we are going to be using that for building this circuit. We need a breadboard, some jumper cables, 10 LEDs and 10 resistors. The resistor's value can be anything. I am using 100 ohms resistor here. Now let's see how to build this. So to build this we take our breadboard and then take the LED. Now you have to know which one is positive and which one is negative. The longer leg of the LED is positive and the shorter one is its negative. So what we are going to do is we take the breadboard and we take two rail, any one rail from the two rails. So I am going to take the top one that will be our ground rail. So the negative or the shorter leg will go on that rail. So we have to push it in there. And the positive one will go into an open point on the breadboard. Similarly we put another one as well. The negative one to the ground rail and the positive one to an open point. Make sure that it is fixed correctly on the breadboard. Now we have to do the same thing for the other LEDs as well. So there should be 10 in total as I am showing. So now you will have something like this. There are 10 LEDs on the breadboard. Now we will take the resistors. I am using an 100 ohm resistor right here. You can use whatever value suits best with your LEDs. For me it was 100 ohms. So we take the resistor, we bend the legs of the resistor, both of them, just like this, one end, and then the second one as well, just like that. And now we have to place this with connection to the positive leg of the LED or the longer leg of the LED and an open point on the breadboard. So I'm putting the resistor like that. Now we'll take the other resistor as well and we'll bend the legs just like that and then we'll place it connecting to the positive and to an open point on the breadboard and similarly we have to do it for the other resistors as well total 10. So now you should have something like this 10 LEDs connected with 10 resistors. Now what you'll need is jumper cables. You'll need exactly 11 but I have a bit more so now we take the Arduino board and we are going to use the ground pin if my camera can focus on this okay so from the ground pin we are going to use the pin till number 4 so total of 11 pins we are going to use the ground pin will go to the ground rail and the others are for the LEDs we can take any jumper cable and we can put to the ground and the other end to the ground or negative rail. Just like this. Now we have to connect the pin 13 to the first LED. Because that's how I have written the code. So we put the jumper cable there and the other end on pin 13 then the next one and it will go to pin 12 and so like this we go till pin 4 the last LED should go to pin 4 so now you will have something like this we have the ground wire connected to the ground pin and the subsequent pins till pin 4 with the LEDs and the resistors now what we have to do is we have to see the code so this is what the code looks like. We have the LED 1 as on pin 13 and subsequently we have LED 2 as 12 then LED 3 as pin 11 and till LED 10 which is on pin 4. So we have this. Then we have the void setup so we have the pin mode for LED 1 as output and it is the same for each pin from 13 to 4 as we have given it right here. Now in loop this is a bit long as you can see we have first we have the digital write for LED 10 as low 
so we turn off the LED 10 this is for the loop it it will do it in the first time but it is for the loop because at the last we have we put the digital right LED 10 as high so we have to turn that off as well so we turn it off at the beginning of our program or sketch now we have LED 1 as high then we wait for 200 milliseconds and then we turn on LED number 2 and as LED number 2 turns on we turn off LED number 1 so we have the turning on and the turning off instantly and then we have the delay then the next LED turns off the last one turns off and then another delay you can actually change these delays these this is for this is for 200 milliseconds currently you can change it to whatever you want this will change the speed of the LEDs as well how they turn on and off so this is the code pretty much and it will be in the description you can copy it from there and paste it in your Arduino sketch now when we upload the code we will see the LEDs blinking in sequence and if I dim the lights so as you can see brightly the LEDs are emitting light and they are blinking in a sequence so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and I'll see you in the next video